Hey friends, how are you? It's Ray with Bible Text Message here. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone had a blessed week. And I hope everyone is staying close to God in this time. So I, as usual, just wanted to come on and make a video and talk about a topic, especially one that's fitting for today and in the time that we're living in. So uh, I have this track. I have these tracks that I usually share out. And I just wanted to read something from the track for everyone. And it's uh, Ancient Prophecies Reveals the Future. That's what the track's uh, title is. And the reason why I wanted to do this track is because today in this world we see a lot's going on. And a lot of us may have questions like, why are these things happening? What is, what is all this about? But we have to realize that there's a greater picture behind all of this. And a lot of us know the story about Daniel in the lion's den. We know that one. As kids growing up, we were taught that story. But we also need to realize that Daniel played another important part in the Bible, not just that story. As we can recall, when Nebuchadnezzar had that dream about the statue, he never understood that dream. And he wanted his wise men and astrologers to interpret that dream for him, tell him the dream and interpret the dream, which they were unable to do. But then Daniel came in and Daniel said, with God's help and with God's intuition, he could, he'll be able to do what the king requested. And Daniel was able to do what the king requested. Daniel was able to interpret the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had. And I actually have a picture in the track of what Nebuchadnezzar actually dreamt. He dreamt about this statue. He dreamt about the statue with the different kingdoms that were gonna come after or come throughout the history of the world. And today we're living, I would say practically at the toenails of this statue. Now, why is, it, why is this significant? This is significant because we have to get ready because Jesus Christ is coming again soon. Because if you can remember, or if you're aware, in that story, it talks about a rock, a rock Nebuchadnezzar saw coming and smashed the image on the legs. And then this rock became a huge mountain. Now that rock is Jesus Christ, which means that Jesus Christ is coming to destroy this world and to take his people with him. Now, I just wanted to read from the track, as I mentioned before, a little part here, maybe a couple parts. Uh, it says that one of the world's most ancient prophecies declare that our planet is about to experience the most dramatic events in human history, the end of civilization as we know it. This prophecy doesn't specify a date, neither a year, nor a decade, nor even a century. Nevertheless, it outlines of human history has been so accurate that the final steps, the only one left to be fulfilled is the absolute certainty. So, my friends, we're, we're down at the end. Let's not have no fear because we're seeing these things we're living in the time where we're seeing these things and we need to realize that Jesus is coming soon. You know, it's, it's trying, it's not easy, but we need to realize that God is coming soon. We'll see these things happening more and more. This is just the beginning. But we, now is the time that we need to be praying, fasting, holding fast to the faith, resisting the devil and his temptations, because I'll tell you, the devil will ramp up his temptations in this time. He's gonna get more aggressive. He will definitely try to get us, or get us a lot of, of this world to fall. That's his only intent, that's his only purpose. He came here to seek and to destroy everything that God created and his people. Now, we should not fear this. This is not something that we should fear because the Bible says, if he that has no fear, sorry, he that has fear is not of Christ. Now, we should not be fearful. We should have faith in Christ to know that Christ is on our side. How do we get that? 
We need to study his word. We need to pray every day, communicate. The same way how you communicate with your family or the relationship, if you're married, with your kids. It's all about communication. So to develop this relationship with Christ, we need to communicate more with Christ. And how do we communicate with Christ? We pray every day. Maybe you read a Bible verse a day and you say a prayer. You pray throughout the day. You know, you ask God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And you pray that God protect you. You pray that God guide you. Pray for these things. Pray for faith. Pray for understanding. Just so that God can be in your life. And the more you pray, the more you communicate with God, the more the devil will not be able to manipulate you. It's like if you communicate with your kids, the more you communicate with your kids, you build a relationship with your kids. This is what we need to do, build up that relationship with Christ so that the devil would not be able to manipulate us. Now, we reflect more of who we associate with. You associate more with Christ, it'll be harder for the devil to get to you, basically. So this is why we need to keep praying. Now, we have to also remember that in the end, God will win. Jesus is a winner, man. There was a song like that I used to sing in Sabbath school. Jesus is the winner, man. This is another reason that we should have hope. The devil is not going to win this battle. He may look like he's winning, but Jesus will win. He's the winner, man. Cast our burdens on Christ. Call on Christ. Believe in Christ. And stand up for Christ. A time will come that we will need to stand up. The same way how the three Hebrew boys had to stand up to Nebuchadnezzar. The same way how Daniel had to stand up to Darius. We will have to stand up as well. And my friends, let's just keep having that faith. Let's just keep going in Christ. Let's just keep walking day by day in Christ. Let's not allow the things of this world to get to us because God is on our side and God will deliver us. So I just wanted to remind everyone that we're living in the last days. We're living in a time where perilous things will happen. We're seeing unbelievable things happen in the world, things that we never thought. I never thought I would have been able to experience these things. And we're seeing these things. So don't be discouraged. Have faith and have hope. God is still in the midst. We just need to lean on Him and find that peace that passes understanding. All right? So friends, that's the video. I just wanted to remind us that Jesus will win. All right? So continue to stay safe. Continue to stay in Christ. And continue to hold fast to the faith. All right? So have a blessed day. And remember to subscribe to Bible Text Message. You just click on the subscribe button below. As promised, I'll keep posting more and more videos and more Bible study topics. Talk about more scriptures and verses. And I'll be happy also if you can put your comments below so I can read them. It's always interesting to meet new brothers and sisters in Christ. So we share our thoughts and we study together. Because more than ever... We need to band together. And we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. So, with that, God bless you and stay safe. Have a blessed day. Ray from Bible Text Message.